Hi, we're calling this video um, Canada Day hijinks for several reasons. Normally, we don't travel on Saturdays. This Saturday, we were intending to go to Forest Lawn and meet up with uh, one set of grandkids. However, that didn't work out due to circumstances beyond our control. Uh, however, we did make it over there to meet up with the second set of grandkids. So what we're doing here is uh, we're returning from Forest Lawn towards uh, Kensington. What we didn't know was that uh, around Didsbury, there was a uh, F4 tornado happening. And you can see the clouds kind of off to the right there. Uh, and so the winds were blowing like crazy. So we're crossing the bridge and we're getting buffeted by 60 to 70 uh, uh, kilometer per hour winds. So you can see that the uh, audio or the video is a little bit jittery. Several reasons. One, I've uh, um, turned up the speed on the, the video just a little bit so that we can uh, get through it fairly quickly. And two, because we were getting pushed back and forth by the wind. You can see it kind of looks jittery. It, uh, it was uh, not exactly really a lot of fun going across the bridges because we were getting hit by some pretty strong side winds. Um, and, you know, like the wind ahead of us there, that's uh, some of the weather that was bringing in a tornado. Uh, and, of course, when we were down by the river, we were telling everybody, tornado warning, tornado warning. And we didn't know there was one, actually, but there was one. And there was a lot of people on the river, and uh, maybe some of them knew more than we did, and they were getting off the river in droves. Uh, so Canada Day, when we went through uh, downtown, there were several areas that were set up with displays and or activities of that kind of thing. Um, and when we go back through this way, they either cut them off short because of the weather or they were, they were done for the day. Uh, we were going through about 7 o'clock or 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. Um, and uh, so this part of the, the uh, trip was quite nice except for the wind. And like I said, you can see me being buffeted back and forth all over the place because of the of the strong winds, the strong south winds. Um, so this is the typical route. You've seen this route before. It's uh, it's Forest Lawn to Bowness, or, or I mean Forest Lawn to Kensington, uh, but it's done in, uh, on a weekend and it's done uh, later at night. Normally we would travel through here. Um, and before lunch. Um, so you can see along this side of the road, there's not a whole bunch of traffic. Uh, I think uh, everybody is elsewhere. They've either down on the riverbank in, uh, in the city uh, and or they're at home get staying out of the wind. But just be cautious along here because it is there's lots of sharp corners and uh, that kind of thing. And um, you, you can... Uh, you can get yourself in trouble. It looks like I'm racing through here like crazy, but I'm not. I've, I've sped up the video. And the guy ahead of us, he's struggling because he's got a regular power bike and uh, we've got a e-bike and we've, uh, we've had to crank up the um, uh, pedal assist a little bit just to get through. Uh, down here, the wind isn't so bad. It's broken up by the trees, but there still is a, a fair bit of wind and the temperature has dropped right off. So there's a lot of people here that are not adequately adequately dressed uh, like we've got uh, two shirts on that kind of thing and it was still pretty chilly it wasn't uh, wasn't one of our nicer trips um, but no problem um, and we had all sorts of people um, dragging their picnic equipment across and, and rafts and boats and stuff uh, if you get a chance to see what's going on in the river you'll see that there is a ton of people in rafts uh, and more as we get towards the city there's a couple guys dragging their raft to their car, I'm assuming, or their pickup point. Um, everybody was quite courteous and everything like that. There wasn't uh, too many people that were uh, over imbibing and intoxicants, but uh, there was a few. Uh, you see the uh, like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe my, my uh, channel, please. And uh, put notifications on if you want to know about uh, uh, the, the Calgary bike pathways. Um, I, I intend on doing as many of these as I can this summer. Uh, it just depends on time and, and weather, that kind of thing. 
So you can see the weather ahead, uh, the, the uh, high clouds and stuff like that. And apparently that's uh, part of the storm front that uh, caused the tornadoes to uh, out towards Didsbury. At that time, we didn't know what was going on. We just knew that there were some really high winds and it, and it was very, very cold, cool. Um, and you can see lots of people are, you know, they're dressed for the warm weather and they're really not dressed for the, the weather that, that they were getting. So this is one of my favorite paths. Uh, it's not exactly the best time of day for it, but it is one of my favorite paths uh, just because it's very smooth, it's curvy. Uh, you know, you're shaded, sheltered. Um, and by the way, happy Canada Day to all of you. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you had a good time celebrating our great country. And we're into the, the uh, Inglewood. Not a whole bunch of traffic out here at this time of night. But we are going along. We're zipping along pretty good uh, while we can make the time. I know later on uh, towards the uh, downtown area, it gets a little congested uh, as people are leaving the events and uh, going back to their cars and stuff like that. Just a reminder, the, the video is sped up a little bit, so it's going to look a little jittery. It's going to look a little... Uh, uh, like I'm speeding like crazy and I'm not I try to stay cautiously um, Within the limits and that kind of thing because I don't want to run into anybody or be run into to by somebody uh, And this is fairly curvy. It's a lot of fun on this part of the path um, You know you get to uh, go around some corners and stuff and uh, watch out for unleashed dogs uh, They're supposed to be leashed in that area, but uh, That seems to be the thing is if you've got a dog you don't have to leash it People having a bit of a picnic or winding up a bit of a picnic. Nice little area and some more people on the right here. Going under the bridge. You can't see too many uh, rafts along this area, but uh, further down you you see how many people are on the river at this time. And it's cold. I bet you it's cold being in a swimsuit. So these guys dragging their raft uh, out of the water and uh, trying to get out of the way for me. Thank you very much. So there's a, a fair bit of uh, pedestrian traffic and uh, not so much bikes, uh, but there is uh, scooters and that kind of thing. Scooters and bikes and and uh, here's a couple bikers and they've got regular bikes. So we passed them with ease with our uh, pedal assist. We did have our pedal assist turned up pretty high because we were fighting a wind, a headwind that whole time. Uh, luckily, the, the trees have sheltered us a little bit and uh, the sun has come trying to come out again. Uh, um just behind the clouds and so there's spots here that you um you do see the um the sun that kind of thing okay so we're uh going up to the inglewood bridge hard right and we're on the inglewood bridge and we're passing into the downtown area that's quite a um, cloud system going through there it must it was a heck of a lot worse uh, at disbury uh, like I said, they had an F4 uh, tornado. You don't see that very often in uh, in Alberta. I heard on the news that <clears throat> so far this year in Alberta, we've had 13 tornadoes touch down. And uh, in a typical year, we only have 15. So uh, well, it could be quite a year for, for tornadoes. They might get some record numbers on that. And hopefully everybody will be safe and uh, that kind of thing. Nobody was injured in the tornado, but it was uh, it was pretty scary. All right, so we're coming up to the downtown area, and uh, you'll see lots of pedestrians in here because they're walking home from various events and that kind of thing. Um, bicycles and scooters, and everybody that is not dressed appropriately. Okay, off to the left there is one of the one of the uh, activity areas and I'm not sure which one that is I just can't see from that uh, but you can see a lot of people are dressed for warm weather and it was pretty chilly 
at this time of night because it was uh, like the sun had gone down behind the clouds. We had strong winds. It wasn't very much fun. I don't think the people walking were having very much fun either. All sorts of traffic along here. It gets worse as we get farther uh, towards the other end of the city. Ah, a little bit of sunshine. That's nice. And rollerbladers under the bridge. Looks a little jittery. Uh, I have sped up the video, and uh, there is a there's still quite a bit of uh, strong wind buffeting uh, right to left in the video, so we're getting moved around a little bit. Nice thing about this this particular area is that the uh, bike path is separate from the uh, pedestrian path, so you can zip along fairly good in here. People sitting and resting and waiting. I'm not sure what kind of activities were going on down here, but it was looked like it was going to be a hop in place when we came um, came through, say, at lunchtime. I think it was lunchtime when we came through, uh, going the other direction. Ooh, sunshine. Woohoo! And we have pedestrians here. They're, they're not going to give way. That's okay. I'll just wait. Didn't expect to go very quickly around here. Dogs have right away, I guess. So this is a little congested through here because of uh, construction work, uh, landscape work, that kind of thing. Um, we're moving right along. Hopefully they'll get it. Uh, back to the regular path soon. And apparently uh, scooters have their own set of rules, just bull through and, uh, you know, they're halfway between bikes and uh, pedestrians, so they can do whatever they want, it seems. Uh, and we're into the sunshine. It warmed up uh, considerably with the warm, with the uh, sunshine and down. Pathways are pretty much empty right through here. So as you can see that the traffic is picking up a bit and uh, most of it is pedestrian. They're probably going to their cars to head home. All right, here it gets a little crowded because the uh, uh, the bike pathway has been cut off. So we, we're going pretty slow. We're just kind of letting people know we're going. Um, and I don't know if any of these people are intoxicated, but some of them are not acting very normal. That's okay. They're, they're having fun. It's Canada Day. Celebrate. Celebrate safely. Eat a breast is always good. <laughs> so I'm giving the uh, pedestrians lots of room uh, as far as uh, much room as I possibly can. I don't want to run any of them over. Back on the bike path. That's nice.
it's a beautiful evening with speckled uh, with the sun coming through the trees and stuff like that. It has warmed up considerably from earlier on in the, in the trip. <clears throat> and we have some scooter people that don't look like they know what they're doing and these guys have going both directions so they really don't know what they're doing like i said scooters seem to have their own rules this guy's on his phone that's really not a bright thing to do but and this area here is always congested but uh, tonight it's especially connected uh, congested because there's a lot of people you know going back and forth to different areas ah back on the bike path good old bike path and sometimes you got to watch the people coming from the cross tracks uh this lady knew what she was doing, went right onto the pedestrian path. Just a reminder that the video is sped up for, uh, so we can uh, have a little shorter video. I don't, a lot of people don't want to go through a 35 minute video. And catching up to some scooter people. <clears throat> and if you can see the river when we come out on the other side here, you look down on the river there, you can see that there is a whole hockey sock full of uh, um, rafts on the river. Uh, a lot more than I normally see, uh, especially during the week, but uh, there is a lot of them out there. And uh, I think a lot of them probably figured out that uh, weather-wise, they should be getting off the river. Of course, we're, we're yelling tornado warning, tornado warning, and we didn't know there was a tornado. And uh, But some of these people were getting off, cutting their ride short and uh, trying to get there. And some people from Britain, obviously, walking on the wrong side. I, don't, well, I can't see very many... Uh, rafts right there heading west along the uh, along the, right beside the river and uh, on the left here is Ninth Avenue I believe yeah see there's some there's a raft a couple rafts there they must add a mass launch on the other end because there is a whole whack of them And I bet you they weren't very happy being out there because it was probably pretty chilly with that wind blowing and, and them being wet and in a, in a boat on the water. They're heading off on 14th Street. Hit the like, hit the subscribe and notifications. Uh, really like to see you on my channel. And nobody in front of us. A little rough along here, but you can see there's two or three rafts right there in view. Yeah, the, the sun had kind of gone down. As soon as that sun goes behind the clouds, it chilled right off real quick. Yeah, as you can see the rafts here. Like I said, it must have been something that a lot of people planned. There is uh, four or five uh, rafting rental places uh, west of here at uh, around Bold, uh, Boness and Shoulders Park, around Bold at Boness. I don't know what the price is, and here's some people who had to they pull their boat out and they're waiting for a ride. I assume. <clears throat> yeah, you can see there's quite a few rafts along here. A little rough on this part of the path uh, just because of the tree roots and um, it's a little older part of the, ra of the of the pathway 
Oh, another raft. A little bit chilly uh, along here. The, the sun had gone down behind the clouds and um, it, it chilled right off right away. Yeah, look at all the rafts down there. Wow. Down through this little park. I'm not sure the name of this little park, but uh, it looks like it's a bit fairly good. The, the uh, pathway along here is uh, fairly rough just because it's older and, uh, you know, there's uh, roots have cracked the crack the pavement. And we're coming up to uh, Crow Child Bridge and we're going to go across the river. We're going to get to the uh, north side of the river. When we look upstream from here, uh, there is a lot of rafts, and they're still on the river. We're going to go left at the end of the bridge. A couple on their bikes are coming this way, so we're we'll just giving time, giving them around the corner. All right, we're kind of into the sunshine a little bit. Be cautious on that intersection there because it's kind of hard to see what's coming up behind you. And this is shared pathway all the way along here. I'm sure when those people got on the rafts at Bow Nest that they didn't figure it was going to be this chilly when they uh, on the river. And we're coming off to our... Uh, turn off point here pretty soon and here we are at the intersection of Parkdale and I'm not sure what road it is um, yeah because right in here you got Parkdale, Bowness, Kensington they all kind of intersect and turn into Bowness Road uh, we got across that fairly quickly So hit the like, subscribe, notifications, love to see you on my channel. And right here on the left is uh, Sunterra Market. Nice little place to stop. Uh, you can get uh, snacks and full meals if you want. Uh, you can buy flowers, bread, all sorts of stuff. Um, the groceries are a little higher than normal, but... Uh, for convenience sake, they're, they're not really out to lunch. Well, thank you and uh, happy Canada Day. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, thank you for joining me on my channel.